In this video, I'll explain everything you need to know about scalping. And if you give me just five minutes of your time, you'll learn how to generate consistent profits using these powerful strategies. Scalping isn't just another trading method. It's a game changer for traders who want fast results. So stick with me. And by the end of this video, you'll be ready to master the markets with precision. Let's dive in. Now, before we dive into the strategies, let's talk about the foundation of scalping, charts. Scalping is all about timing those quick moves. So understanding how to read charts is really, really important. We're going to focus on candlestick charts, which are perfect for showing price action over short periods. Each candlestick gives you four key pieces of info, the opening price, closing price, and the highest and lowest points of the time frame you're looking at. As a scalper, you'll be zooming in on one minute or five minute charts to spot quick opportunities. And to help you spot trends, two tools you'll definitely want are moving averages and the relative strength index. Moving averages smooth out price data to help you see where the price is trending, while RSI helps you spot overbought or oversold conditions. These are essential for making fast, informed decisions. All right, now that you've got the chart basics, let's dive into the basic scalping strategies that you can start using right away. One of the simplest and most effective scalping strategies is range trading. You're looking for an asset to move between two price levels, support and resistance. When the price hits support, you buy, and when it hits resistance, you sell. The goal here is to capitalize on those small, predictable price movements within the range. For example, if a stock or crypto is bouncing between $50 and $52 repeatedly, you buy at $50 and sell at $52. As a scalper, you'd aim to buy around $50 and sell around $52 repeatedly. But remember, this strategy works best when the market is in a stable, sideways pattern. Next up, breakout trading. This is where you wait for the price to break through a major support or resistance level. And when it does, you ride the momentum for a short but profitable trade. The key here is to identify areas of consolidation and be ready to act when the price makes a decisive move. Finally, we have momentum scalping. This strategy is all about catching a strong price movement caused by high volume or news. You jump into the trade as the price starts moving quickly, then exit before the momentum fades. It's fast paced, but highly effective if you time it right. Now that we've covered the basics, let's take it up a notch with some advanced strategies that aren't as widely known, but can give you an edge in scalping. Don't worry, I'll keep it simple so you can follow along easily and start using these today. First scalping with VWAP, volume weighted average price. So VWAP might sound complicated, but it's actually super useful. It shows the average price of an asset, but it's weighted based on how much volume is traded at each price point. Think of it as a tool to tell you whether the current price is fair or not. How to use it. If the price is above the VDWAP, it's a signal to buy because it shows strength. If it's below, it's a signal to sell because it shows weakness. It's great for spotting when to jump into a trade for quick gains, and you can use it as support or resistance too. Second, Bollinger Bands Bounce Strategy. Bollinger Bands are another cool tool that helps you see when an asset is too high or too low. They create a band, around the price that expands and contracts based on volatility. The fun part, you can trade the bounce between these bands, how to use it. When the price hits the lower band, it usually bounces back up. So you can buy at the lower band and sell near the middle. When it touches the upper band, it tends to drop. So you can sell and make a quick profit on the downside. Easy, right? Third, RSI divergence. Most traders use RSI to figure out when something is overbought or oversold. But there's a trick called RSI divergence, and this can really help you catch reversals in price. How to use it? If the price is making higher highs, but the RSI is making lower highs, it means the momentum is slowing down and the price could drop. That's when you jump in to scalp before the price reverses. The same goes for the other way around. When the price is dropping, but RSI is showing strength, it's likely the price will bounce back up soon. Four, using market depth and order flow. All right, this one's for when you're ready to get a little more advanced. Market depth shows you the buy and sell orders waiting to be filled, and this helps you predict what might happen next in the market. It's a sneak peek into what big players are doing, how to use it. Let's say you see a huge buy order sitting just below the current price. Chances are the price will bounce up when that order gets filled. You can jump in just before that happens, 
Similarly, big sell orders above the price can cause it to drop. You're basically riding the wave of big traders moving the market. And that's a quick guide to scalping. Hopefully, you're ready to dive in and start using these strategies to level up your trades. If you found this useful, drop a comment below and let me know what topics you want to see in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.